we're going to play your video, but set this video up um, where you start to tell this story. Just tell us a little bit leading up to the video, if you can think of a way to do that. Well, Saints, first of all, I, I see, thank you for allowing me to come and be a part of this uh, wonderful family, the Elijah List. And Saints, I want you to know that the God is talking to many of his saints, many of his people. This was a uh, uh, experience. I wasn't praying. I wasn't um, you know, uh, seeking the Lord for. I, I seek the Lord all the time, but I wasn't saying, oh, I want to take a trip. I want to go see the, to the future. It was God's divine will. So there's no motives behind it. It was God's divine right. will to, to do this because apparently the Lord knew that this day was going to come. And I didn't have, I had no idea. And so he, there are certain, you know, of those that God will allow to either do prophecy, do dreams, do visions, through uh, what they call um, transported into the future, uh, to, you know, and so to set an establishment of what he's about to do. And this happened to me and I'm excited about it. I'm still excited about it. When you get transported into the future, time travel, it stays with you. It sticks to you. It's it's wow. not something that uh, that just goes away. It sticks to you. And just even as I'm speaking right now, I can still experience it. I can still feel it. Really? Because it's the Lord. Yes, it's it. It's something that sticks to you so strong, and you're like, uh, it's very real. That's what I love about time travel. It is very, very real because you're a I've part of. I've known a few people that did that. I Kat Curtis talked about being transported in the future. Um, Bobby Connor, Prophet Bobby Connor, the Lord took him back in time to the crucifixion. He said, "He said I didn't see a vision. I was there. God took me back in time, which God can do because He's outside of time. God took him back in time and at the crucifixion. He said the smells were horrible, the jeering was horrible, and he had." He heard all the sights, sounds, smells, and everything, because God wanted that to stick to him. And I think when you do that, so it sounds like good. Well, listen now, uh, you're what the, what you're going to see in this video is you're you are speaking to your church, where you're a pastor there in, in that mm -hmm. area, and and you are telling them this story. Is that right? Yes. I Without further ado, now we're going to play this video. I so I think it's either three or four minutes. It's a little longer than we usually play, but I want you to get the whole flavor, and then we'll see you back here in a second. Okay, go ahead and. God. And I feel an anointing here. I want you to receive this because I didn't ask for this, nor did I plan it. It was God's perfect will to allow me to usher me into the future. That's right. He has ushered me into the future. And I took notes. I wrote it down. And the things I saw, I want to explain it to you, saints. I mean, God is a good God. He, uh, this happened around six seven weeks ago very powerful where the Lord had ushered me into the future and I went through some kind of portal some kind of portal and it was a real deal and I knew I was in Southern California which I live in California so apparently God used California and as I went into went into this uh, went through this portal and I, I, I'm watching and I see a lot of movements. It was a beautiful day. A lot of movements. Nobody was wearing a mask. Glory to God. It was a thing of the past. The mask, the virus is going bye bye. And I didn't know what year it was. So I saw a gentleman pass by me. And as he was passing by me, I had asked him, I said, Sir, what year is this? And he looked at me crazy. He thought I looked like he, I, I think he thought I was drunk. And I said, sir, please tell me what, what year is this? And he looked at me and he says, where have you been? I said, please tell me what year is this? He goes, man, it's 2022. Don't you know? It's 2022. And I go, wow. And then he started to walk away. And I asked him again. I know I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to do this. I said, sir, who is the president? Who is the president? And he said, don't you know? I said, I don't. Please tell me, who is the president? And he told me, he said, it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is our president. And saints, get ready. 
I don't care how it looks now, Donald Trump is our next president. He will get a second term. So the, may, the way it looks, it may look like that he's not winning. It may, may look like all this stuff, but God has plans for our president. He will be in that you will see him being inaugur inaugurated a second time, our president. And they're going to show that picture there on the screen. He will be inaugurated a second time. Donald Trump will be us president for a second term. Glory to God. There you go. Now, when you said second term, people, after you did that video, so that, that was like, how long ago did you do that video? I did the how video did about, let's see, maybe four or five months ago. Okay, so after the four or five months ago, people started saying when it looked bad that all oh, this God must mean he'll get out of office and then he'll come back in in 2024. That's what people begin to surmise. But this, this, you were not in 2024. That's right. I was in 2022. So God had in his perfect divine will, he had planned this. You see, and Saints, I'm going to say this again. I wasn't praying or fasting or trying to move into the spirit realm. I know it, it, the Lord took me out and I, I know something was happening because I, I just wasn't me. Everything was different. I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do. That disease or this disease that people call COVID-19 is going bye-bye. It is going bye-bye. We, I... You know, I knew I was in California. Uh, I knew I wasn't, I knew it wasn't 2020. That I knew. So, and so the Lord had allowed me to, to usher me into the future and this gentleman passing by me. It was God's perfect timing because he wanted me. And it, it wasn't, God was prompting me through the spirit of God. He was prompting me to ask those questions. And so, because he knew that this day would come, Saints, this is wonderful. And I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm saying it right now live. Donald Trump will hold a second term, not 2024. Prophecy is in part. Okay? And I don't deny anything, but I only, only say what I didn't say. So many people are saying things about other prophets and me. God bless them. I said this, I prophesied this. Now it's really interesting because a lot of the, a lot of the live streams I've done in different platforms, I listen to those live streams and I listen to myself. So I know what I said. And it was really interesting because lots of people are saying, I prophesy that 45 will be back in, in 2022. There's not one video that says that. I had a time travel and I saw a gentleman and he said, not me said, but I'll tell you what I did prophesy because God did tell me more than once. I will restore my servant. I did say that. And I'm standing by that. And that will happen. As long as Donald Trump says, I'm going to do it, Lord, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. I'm going to say this again. That will happen. I will tell you what I prophesied under the anointing of God and what I never prophesied that people are saying. Never prophesied that. Never prophesied. They said, you said that on Elijah's stream that you prophesied. Oh, my gosh. That Trump will be back in 2022. Not there. I did not. And we will go back into that time. And you will hear with your own eyes what I said and what I didn't say. And why it's really sad that so many of the Christians are taking a word and twisting and saying a prophecy when I never said that. Now, I will tell you the prophecies and I will tell you what I did say and what I didn't say. And let me tell you something. I am a man of integrity. My wife and my staff knows that if I said something and it wasn't right, I'm going to say right here and then I will apologize. I said that was not correct. I didn't say that right. I didn't interpret it right. I will say that I have no problem with that. I'm not here to hide anything. 
Okay. Uh, you sh there's not one perfect prophet. There's not one perfect pastor. There's not one perfect child of God. We're only perfect in Christ. Okay. So you can miss it. You can make mistakes. You can do all that. That happens. We learn and we're growing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, but if I said anything, if I said it, I'm going to review those videos. I'm going to review it myself to see. And if I said it and I, and I said, okay, well, that's wrong. I need to, I need to come out. I need to, to confess it because I'm a man of integrity. I fear the Lord. I fear the Lord. I'm telling you, I fear the Lord. I'm not going to do anything, you know, just not going to do that. I, I love the Lord and I love the saints and I thank God for that. Now, before I'm going to go in, we're going to go back and we're going to see this video again on Elijah's stream and we're going to see it. It's a, it's a, it's a clip and so you can hear it yourselves and you can share it. You go, wow, Pastor Manny didn't say that. He didn't prophesy and say, I prophesied Donald Trump would be back. He will see it with your own eyes and you'll see how many people have failed. They ran and because there are so many prophecies out there, we can get it all screwed up and mixed up. Okay. But I love them. God bless them. I love them. Woo. Glory to God. And there are so many prophecies that the Lord had me to speak this year that was prophesied that has come to pass with we, we literally, literally. And I'm thanking God because the best is yet to come. Woo. The best is yet to come. And sometimes people get my name mixed up with somebody else's. They'll say, somebody else may have said, there have been prophets that have said something about this year. And I'm not denying that because anything is possible with God, okay? I'm just saying, I want to clear it up about what I said and what I didn't because I love, I love the Lord's people and I see there is confusion. And God is not the author of confusion, saints. Woo! But I love the Lord and I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about...